they all doing a little salt daddy thing, the salt bay thing, and then like the, the other side opened up and it just all spilled out. And I was like, this is what happened. I you told- know what happens when you spill it out? Beefs happen, just like these two. We got Lotto and Coyle Ray getting physical. Apparently, they fought each other or their associates fought each other. Who would have thought this light skin on light skin crime would happen? I knew it. What? It would happen. And the fact was, the, the crazy part is about it like, look how small little Coyle Ray is, but you know what they always say. She probably, you know why she's so small? Why? She probably knows how to season her fries. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably why. The hate is she, she doesn't put that it's, high cholesterol on there. Lotto looks like she seasons her fries extra. It's giving you want to cook next time. No, I don't want to cook. <laughs> All right, but like I was saying, man, if you didn't back to the news, man, if you didn't know, a couple of days ago, Lotto dropped a song. She was talking about her blunt. She's like, my blunt is big as Cola Ray. For some wow. strange reason, Cola Ray felt like it was disrespect. So she had a... so. She had a couple words about it, but Lotto came, quickly came to the stage and said... Wait, wait, oh, she said her blunt is big as Coyle Ray? Yeah. What do you think? So, so she rolled a fat blunt? That's what basically what she said. Like, I rolled a flat blunt. And no, a fat. P-H. Fat, no. <laughs> My God, this one's R. Kelly stuff already. You gotta watch him. What was R. Kelly about that? Nasty. Just nasty, but like I was saying before, so you know, Cola Ray uh said she didn't like that. You know, Lotto came on stage and said she loves Cola Ray. You know, no disrespect, no bad blood. You know, I mess with your music and all that stuff. She said this out loud in the public, but you're the size of a blunt. But you know what I mean, at the same time, this is what my dog Cola Ray had to say in this video. Oh, is this recently? Is this uh, this is like two days ago. Oh. People talk shit every fucking day. Bow. Every day it's a hate on my dick. Bing bong. New bitch got my name on her mouth. Oh. Somebody got something weird. Something but weird. The best thing that got me here is my team. And of course, number one, God. You can't do it without them, period. So if you a selfish bitch and you want to on some, I'm going to do it myself. Don't be one of them. So speaking of gang, team. So, I mean, see, after this, she went on a rant on the show. She went on a whole rant on her little show. And a lot of people were so perplexed. You like that word? Oh, you got the hands. No, perplexed about the situation because it was like perplexed. Mm -hmm. You a hater, man. Stop playing. You know, I'll be reading my book dictionary. I'll be on my TI stuff, man. On a monopia. But like I was saying, (laughs) are you hating? (laughs) I didn't even say nothing. (laughs) Not seeing it in your eyes. But, um, but like I was saying, um, you know, everybody was getting mad at Coyle Ray because they was like, why are you slinging shots at Lotto like that when Lotto clearly went on stage before you and said, ain't no beef, ain't no issue. Because ain't no sunshine when, she, when, uh, when she gone. I know, so disrespectful. But, I mean, and then it, it escalated so quickly after that. I mean, like, supposedly they started fighting. Oh, supposedly it was uh, one of the people's from... Uh... Coy's team versus Lotto's like sister or something. Probably Lotto's sister or friend. You got whacked in the face trying to step to my sis. H word, stop playing with us. Soft arse, huskies. Uh, this sh- sheet <laughs> gonna get so mf ugly. My n word next time, y'all will be ready. We'll we're with y'all, scary. <laughs> arses the next time. Next arse, we'll have been going be like suing y'all and never see. See my in my in word. Then just somebody who then somebody else. Oh, she the, said Lotto. She called out Lotto directly. Said see. you scary AF. Hope you ain't hired them mother effers to do, do a whack ass stunt because uh, y'all got bopped. That's crazy. Imagine. See, and I knew it. I knew. It. I know. I, when I heard it, I heard about the fighting situation. I was like, ain't no way. You know. You know, uh, Coyle Ray beat up big old Lotto. Like, that's like a big... She got about a good 50 pounds. Yeah, that, that didn't make sense when I heard but that. Hey, though. But, but I know it was someone from Lotto's team. But at the same time, I know a couple small girls that knocked a couple big bitches out. I'm just saying. We're six minutes in, I can say. I, I don't think you'd be throwing B-words like that. What do you mean? Like, it's, we get the 18 it's empowerment. I thought the B-word was empowerment now. Is that useful empowerment anymore? That's what I used it for you. So I was fight the power. What? What? <laughs> All the empowerment. <laughs> I'm about to empower you to the floor. <laughs> nah, but we actually got a video of the fight. It's a, a legend snitch. fight. Oh, snitch. Just because I found <laughs> it. 
Just because I'm on my detective work means I'm a snitch? Yeah. I've never been a part of I the federal office. I knew you hang out little Boston snitchy. Let's watch the clip. And I, now this video is weak. It hasn't been that much video footage out about this yet. But some people were saying that Coyle Ray just dropped this new single called Body. Uh, a couple like this past Friday, people were saying that she's using this as publicity to boost her song and get notoriety. Because you remember what her album sell again? Was like seven k. Exactly, that's why. So you know she's trying to do everything she possibly can do, you know, to get the uh, get some eyes on her. And some people saying that she's not even a real rapper; she's a TikTok rapper. I mean, she kind of is. I mean, her <laughs> album sales like kind of show that. So she's like Soulja she Boy. She does have those TikTok hits now. Soldier Boy's. I mean, Soldier Boy was originally a ringtone artist. Basically TikTok. So, you know, he's the OG. So he gets respect no matter what he does. So no one, no, one, no one's allowed to make fun of Big Draco. Um, but this is hilarious. And they said supposedly that when uh, Lotto's uh, woman got got bopped, she got hit in the head with a sandal or something, um, that Lotto just stood back and was like watching. She didn't even get in and help. They said Lotto caught the cops. They called my dog Lotto a Karen. I'm so dead. I'm oh, so yeah, hurt. They, yeah, they said that she uh, got her friend out of there and then called the cops. They said they called her uh, a, a big ass Karen. Like I'm so I'm so shocked. Like you rapping all this hood stuff. You saying my dad from the hood. You was on the Jermaine Dupri show doing all rapping thing, doing all all that stuff on. But golly. She let you down? Just she like let real me Boston? down. Just Nah, Real Boss ain't let me down. <clears throat> yeah, he did, let me, he did let me down. Just real Boss like, let uh, me down. Tory Lanez let me down. Lotto let me down. Why did Tory Lanez let you down? Because he beat a stallion? You so disrespectful. My coach is so disrespectful. Somebody come stop this man. No. But I mean, we're going to keep you up to date in this whole Lotto oh. Cola Ray beef. Hold on, time out. Are you Team Lotto or are you Team Cola Ray? I'm Team Lotto. I don't really care, but if I had to choose a side, you, I prefer the thick rather than the sticks. First off, we already know Coyle Ray is way thicker and way way thicker Coyle than Coyle Ray is definitely Lotto. your type of girls. <sighs> the disrespect is real. You like like the gymnast type of you know, like, types. like Simone Bliss that shop at Walmart and buy her uh buy her shoes for one hundred and twenty dollars. Yep. You know, people that save money. She buys her shoes for $120? She bought, she bought her wedding. Supposedly, her wedding outfit. Is, oh, it was all cheap. Yeah, it was yeah, all yeah, cheap yeah. and everybody. You know, that's another story. We'll keep that. Keep it that didn't make, on it didn't make the show. Don't worry. It oh, sucks. Insane. But you know what? This, we'll keep y'all post on this. mental problems. Let me know how y'all. Is that why she doesn't like expensive things? <laughs> what? You talking about some own bliss? <laughs> is it bliss or bios? <laughs> oh, my God. Hopefully she's healed. I'll pray for her. I'll light a candle. <laughs> you just bad because she didn't choose you. I don't want to get chosen by her. She said disrespect is real. But comment below. You team Coyle Ray, team Lotto. Is Coyle Ray out of line? Because Lotto did or say. Or was she an extra for Men in Black too? I keep my clothes on it. Or is she dead wrong because Lotto did say that she got no issue with her? Comment below. Let me know how you feel about the situation. I just think it's funny and that we should definitely bring back Celebrity Deathmatch. Yeah. At, least let them, at least let them box with, like, the headsets. You know, like, the, with the head covering so they can't really get that hurt, but they could still get, like, knocked down. I mean, hey, you know, it won't mess up your, ba- it must, won't mess up your career that bad. You see Blueface getting knocked around every day. We still, we still rocking with Blueface. That's because Krishan beats him. That's not boxing training. That's her just. That's relationship problems. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad, bad. Speaking of bad, bad. Right Blueface. So I had a cannon for Blueface as well. <laughs> hello. Speaking of hello, man. This next topic right here is just getting. It's just getting. Oh, the, the world is doomed. As if you've not been, if you haven't been watching the show for the past year, the world is almost ending every week. We don't have nothing but good news. We don't have any good news. Hardly ever. 